Hey folks, welcome back to Word of Mayhem. I, so I was, uh, had a thought. I want to start doing videos about uh, specific characters. Specifically, um, you know, characters, you know, we all know, I mean, if you if you just started playing the game, then obviously the first character you get is Bugs Bunny. And, uh, if you don't know that Bugs is one of the best characters in the game, well, no, you do, and I might as well, and, I'm, and I might as well, since I'm into him already, uh, might as well start talking about him. Why not? I decided that I wanted to start doing spotlights of different characters, and I don't know. But anyway, um, what makes I've noticed that. Um, in arena and stuff, um, and maybe just in general, uh, you want characters that have AOE, and that's and I think that's what makes Bugs really good. Um, aside from the fact that he does a lot of damage, um, and so obviously mines, you know, what is what is his up? Uh, what is his uh, tier? He's at tier twenty three. And the only reason why he's only at tier 23 is because I don't have another carrot. And uh, to get him to tier 25. Uh, but you can see that I have plenty of, of leaves and stuff to gear him up. I'm a little low on attacks, attack, um, whatever, but, because I'll get 77, but I have, but it only takes 30 to get him to the next rank. Um, but you can see his his power at twenty at twenty four. Um, his attack is um, two eighteen. His defense is two sixty one. His speed is pretty high at ninety four, and his health is seven fifty, which is really is really pretty good. Um, he's a good all around character, and what what I really like about him is I mean. Pretty much any time you're gonna play with him, um, this is gonna be this is gonna be your sort of filler because if you've played if you played games, you know that um, unless you need to get your attack up, you're probably not gonna open with this move. But it's a good gap filler. Just to, I mean, what I what I usually open with is almost always the. Uh, is this but this might be a better finisher move the reason I open with this um, explosive surprise is because it, it it's a it's a three turn cooldown um, so I so I generally open with that just to get uh, you know right now it's at uh, only at explosive surprise four and so it only does a hundred ninety six to each enemy to, to all enemies and I don't know if that's combined order to each enemy, but I would I would think that it's probably um, spread to each enemy, which really doesn't make that impressive. Um, but it's what I open with, nevertheless, and and that's probably not the best thing. This would probably be, uh, and like I said, the only reason I do it is because it uh, it's probably better to better better that I actually save that for a finisher. Um, just because it is so weak. And this one, I might be uh, wanting to open with because it deals uh, 120, 228 damage and inflicts defense down for three turns. And if and if you're targeting any Elmer or a Daffy, it's going to stun them. So keep that in mind. And uh, so it's really going to do a lot of damage to uh, one character. So I'm going to spread it again. Against, and it's gonna put them some defense down, so it's which is, is really good. Um, so you could so you could you could open them with this, and it, and then come back to this, and hit them with another for another two eighteen, and you can give yourself some uh, attack ups for two turns while they still have defense down on them. Uh, this is the first passive hair restoration. First time the tune goes below 50%, he gets, he gains 15% health and gets two attack up. So, if 
he gets really hard, he's going to get hit for, he's going to get healed up 15%, and he's going to be getting two attack ups, which, I mean, if you stack that with the fact, if you, if you stack that with the befuddle three, and, and so you've got defense down, so you've got attack downs on the others, and then you, you stack that with these, so you can potentially have four, four attack ups, which isn't bad. And then a uh, strength passive. This tune has 25% attack. Um, who knows? I, I don't really know how that plays plays out in terms of the whole um, Bugs Bunny experience. Uh, whenever this tune gets hit, though, so whenever you attack him, he's going to give 10% turn meter, and that's probably what I'm going to say is going is going to help him out long term. Um, you know, it's just you you hit him. You know, say you use an AOE, he's going to get 10% turn meter, which means he's going to attack you 10% faster. Um, obviously, he's a force tune. Obviously, he's an epic attacker. He's bunny. Rural. So, you know, you want to be, you know, when they ever they talk about, uh, you know, you see uh, something like they're doing an Acme R&D with rural attackers or original tunes that's going to be bugs because he's rural and he's an original and his relationship is with porky and uh so anytime there's a porky pig on and that's what it and that's what the little white symbols there mean means any porky that's on the field he's going to get this with it's just not the original porky but any any porky so farmer porky uh sheriff porky Space Cadet, whoever. Um, whenever you're using Bugs, he's going to get... Whenever you're going to use... Whenever you're using this regular Bugs Bunny, he's going to get this buff. And that means he's going to attack and defense and speed are going to go up while, while there's a Porky on the battlefield. So that's all good. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm looking to see... Uh, we're, still, we're still doing the Matador event... We're still doing the, uh, which should be ending soon. You know, they do have the speed up R and D event going on. Um, I don't know what to expect on the other side. If you watch the NA, the AMA, I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna rerun the the Henry Hawk. Probably, if I had to guess, this week. Why not? <laughs> I have no reason to know why, but. They said it in the AMA video, so probably probably Henry Hawk pretty soon. I would actually wish they would do Roadrunner again or somebody else like that. But anyway, guys, hey, I just wanted to do this one-off video just to talk about first spotlight game of Bugs Bunny and sort of how his sort of how his powers work together. Um, you know, like I said, I used a I've been using the uh, explosive surprise one to open. That's probably not the best thing. I probably just want to get the attacks, the attack down would be uh, probably more beneficial to start the game and probably use the explosive surprise as a finisher um, when when health health is lower. So you know I'm I'm probably going starting out with Befuddle one and then the next turn I would be going to um, safe landing and then back to Befuddle and if the, or. Or if the, the tune that I'm attacking, I really want to get off the battlefield and I just want to get something out there. Uh, maybe Explosive Surprise if you need to AoE. Uh, but it's probably just better to alternate between 1 and 2 and not um, Explosive Surprise unless you really, unless you really uh, need it. Um, because all it does is damage. That's literally all it does is just damage and... It doesn't add any effects. The befuddle gives it gives a tech down and can stun if you're attacking an armor or a uh Daffy and then this gives a tech up. So uh and does more damage. And and I'm thinking, you know, I don't know. This says it deals hundred and ninety six to all to all enemies. And it doesn't say to each enemy, it just says well, I don't know if it's um, just the one, if it's like 190, 196 split among the four enemies. 
Um, but regardless, it, it, it doesn't add anything. And with this, yes, yes, you're only getting so much per one to one enemy, but you're also getting the attack down. So keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, hey, I just want to do this quick video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Uh, let me know who you'd like to see next. Give me a like. Uh, share it. Subscribe. Everything else. And let me know who you'd like to see next. The next person I'm thinking about doing is, I don't know. I don't I might do one of these a week, so if you... Got any ideas of who you'd like me to see do? Uh, let me know. And there's a chance that I may have them or may not. Like Rodan, I don't have. Um, Henry Hawk, I don't have. Uh, you know, anyway. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Be back later. Until then, see ya.